Hi, Navneet. How are you doing? I'm good. Can you see me? Yes, we can see you clearly. Perfect. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. So, can you tell us a bit about the course that you're studying and your experience so far? Yeah, so I'm currently in my fifth semester of dentistry um, at European University. I'm a transfer student, so in the UK, I actually had a bachelor's of, so I had a biomedical science degree. So I was able to transfer into directly into the fourth semester of dentistry here at JC, and um, I've got. You could say I'm halfway. I've got another five semesters left till I graduate. And um, honestly, I've had um, so I've just literally it's been a month since I'm back here after my break in the summer from semester four. And the course is going really well. I really enjoy being here at European University. Um, I would say I was really anxious in the beginning of semester four because it was more like I, did, I didn't know what type of students would be here. But there's a very nice community of abroad students because I didn't even know Georgia was a country before applying Many to don't. study yeah. here. But um, honestly, yeah, because every time we tell someone I study in Georgia, they're like, oh, America. But no, it's Georgia, the country. And um but yeah, honestly, it's a really nice tourist attraction as well. There are a lot of people that come to Tbilisi and Batumi. And um, yeah, I do really enjoy university here. And I think the course is going really well. Good. And, and what's the lifestyle like there for you? Do you feel safe in, in the city? Yeah, definitely. Actually, to, to be honest, before I even came here, Medlink actually uh, put me in touch with a few of the students, a few females, males from semesters above. And um, you could literally walk on the street at 11 or 12 at night and you know it's completely safe there's especially here in the capital city in Tbilisi it's there's no issue of safety um we haven't encountered any racism here it's actually a really nice friendly environment and I think because you get taught Georgian as part of the course as well um it becomes really easy to communicate with people you know when you go to the shops uh, it's really it's actually really really um it makes it really easy and it's quite fun as well so would you say, is it difficult living in the UK and then living in Georgia? Is it quite different or is it uh, quite an easy change for you? So I would say it's quite different only because um, when you've been in the UK for so long, because I did university there as well, I didn't really live out in the UK at university, so I was always home. And then I think one of the biggest changes is when you move out, and you come to a country like Georgia, it's very different in lifestyle and you become very independent. But I think there's a lot that you can learn from that. And it's actually a really fun, it's a really fun process as well, because, you know, there's things that you never think that you, you thought you weren't capable of doing half the things that you could when you come and live here by yourself. And it's actually, I think because you have a lot of support from other students and, you know, your study managers, because here at European University, you get allocated a study manager as well. And then you can be in contact with the dean as well of whether you decide to do medicine or dentistry. So there's a lot of help available. I mean, Medlink are always an email away as well, and they tend to reply really quickly and help you sort out any issues. So it's actually, it's, it's not as difficult as I thought it would be. Great. And obviously the weather's much better over there compared to the UK as well, right? Oh, it's really cold now, Tom. It's actually really cold. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when you do call back home in London, they do say that the weather's getting bad there as well. But um, I mean, Georgia does have, you know, really, really hot summer and a really cold winter, but it's, it's nice. You know, there's a bit of snow here sometimes too, so it's quite nice. Nice, nice. Okay. And uh, in terms of the actual teaching, how have you found it yourself? How have you experienced? You went a little bit on it at the beginning. What's it been like for you? Yeah, so um, the course is completely taught in English, so it was really easy to understand. And um, it's you know everything is broken down for you you know you you're in touch with the teachers all the time you have lectures you have practicals that even help you do recovery lessons if there's anything that you miss so there's lots of exemptions as well um you know uh, i think during covid there were a lot of uh, classes online as well for uh, the students that i spoke to from previous semesters so there's always a way to work around things and i think um, this university is a, a great example of um, because I, I'm in touch with um, students from other universities in Tbilisi as well but this university is really helpful when it comes to a study program and you know they help you during the registration process when you decide what modules you want to study and what you want to do that semester so it's, it's very helpful.
Fantastic. Now, one thing I know a lot of students uh, are going to be asking about, I've seen quite a few ask about already, so we'll answer it now, is what's it like with the distance? Obviously, from the UK to Georgia, how yeah. how do you cope with that? Because you seem very happy over there. So a lot of people <laughs> from the UK, they're worried because it's obviously further than yeah. Bulgaria, yeah. for example. How yeah. do you manage that? So Georgia is quite a distance. I think it's, it takes about, well, well, on average, it's about a seven or eight hours flight. Um, it's not a direct flight. It'll stop off at Turkey and it'll come here. But I think, um, to be honest, when you are here in Georgia uh, and you're busy at university, studying, going to university every day, you tend to not go home back that often anyway because you're so busy. But even if you do, it's kind of because you look forward to going home so much. I feel like distance hasn't really been a problem for me. It's kind, it's more, um, it is far, but I feel like there's nothing here in Georgia that would make you miss London as such, because it's more everything here, there's everything's available here, there's help here, um, there's really nice hospitals here as well, you know, just in case of any emergency. I think it's, it's a really convenient place to be, especially because it's in the capital city. Um, distance, yeah, at first when I told my parents about to they're like, oh, it's, you know, it's all the way in Asia. But um, uh, when you do come here, when you start studying, you do go back, obviously, after you finish your, um, when you had your final exams, that was the first time that I went back from Tbilisi to London. And because I was so excited, I didn't even think about the time, but I don't think it's, it's not much of an issue for me personally. I think it's one of those things people worry about a lot more before they make it a much bigger yeah. thing in their mind. Yeah, once they're I don't think student. it's that much. It's not that big of a deal. As when you come, when you think about it, thinking how far away from home you're going to be, then it's like, you know, it's quite scary. But once you're here, once you're settled, it's, it's literally, it's a flight away. <laughs> Just a flight away. Fantastic. Flight away. So what advice then, if you're to sum up the, the main thing that you would say for someone who's arriving in Georgia, let's say in, in the March intake, what okay. advice would you give for them when they arrive? So I myself, I arrived in the March intake as well earlier this year for semester four. And mm -hmm. I wasn't that worried because like, um, I think one of the other students from the other university in Tbilisi also mentioned there's a driver literally waiting for you when you come to the airport provided by Medlink. They help you drop you off to your accommodation, you know, help you top up your sims when you come here because it's more, I think the first thing that students think about when they come is their phones, you know, how they're going to get in touch with the family back home <laughs> and, you know, where am I going to go from here? So they help you as soon as you land, you know, you get your luggage, they help you with your sims, they help you um, drop you off to your accommodation. So even if you haven't, so I initially had an accommodation, you know, Medlick to help me find some places. So I actually rented mine out before I came. So I was able to get dropped off straight there. But there are some students that I know that got dropped off to the hotel. And then there are state agents that Medlink puts you in touch with as well to help you find properties in your budget. So the process was really, really smooth. And then... Um, Obviously, even the dorms, they're not far away from the university campus at all. So the next day you can literally pop into university, speak to anyone. Everyone's so helpful and, you know, makes the journey much smoother. Great. And uh, you're going to be starting your clinical experience soon then, right? Yeah. So they have intensive courses here at European University, which includes clinical practice. So it's like uh, when you do a module, you know, you spend the whole semester doing the module from the beginning to the end. Uh, say let's say throughout the four months but an intensive course is when you study a module within like a specific time period 10 to 15 days and in that time you do some so I'm a dentistry student so I'll be in dental clinics uh, carrying out doing some clinical experience obviously having the theoretical pilot, uh, like side of things and then sitting a midterm exam and a final exam within that time period as well so that's I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be my first intensive soon. Um, th things do get it's not it's not always easy. Obviously, when you're doing a degree like dentistry and medicine, nothing's going to be easy. But if you you know discipline yourself to kind of stay on top of it, get the help that you need. That's really important because I feel like a lot of students kind of get afraid when they go abroad. They're a bit afraid to kind of go and contact you know the student managers or the lecturers, and they always feel like there's a bit of a language barrier. With, but um, honestly, they're they're really really helpful. Fantastic. Namni, thank you so much for sharing your experiences nice. with us. Uh, we all want to hear from you when you start your clinical experience. So once you've done a little bit of it, if you've got enough time still to spare for us, we would love to hear how you get on um, nice. with, with all of your, your dentistry clinicals uh, that you'll be doing with the university. It will be an amazing you. insight. Thank you, Tom. Thanks. Hey. hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Very well, thanks. So you are a medical student at the European University in Tbilisi, right? Yeah. Great. How are you finding it? 
So I um, came in the March intake earlier this year and I've literally settled in so well. Everyone's been great. It's honestly, like as Nav said before, it's honestly not as big of a jump as you would think it is. I came straight out of A-levels. Um, I waited a couple of months and then came into um, Georgia. And honestly, it was the best thing I ever did. Like I was planning on waiting until the next intake, but I'm so glad that I took that jump and made it into the March intake. It's been so great. The uni, like everything that you you're afraid of like when you land in Georgia and you do everything for yourself it's honestly been amazing the lecturers have been great there um we uh as Nav said before we learn Georgian as well so um language isn't a problem there are so many students here from different areas from the UK and from other countries you make friends immediately I think that was one thing that I was scared of and honestly there are so many people in your boat that you just go into uni and everyone's so friendly and it's such like a nice community and it's just so easy going. Fantastic now one thing you mentioned then that was very intriguing in the beginning was that you were really glad that you went and started last March. So just what was that six months after your A-levels instead of taking a whole gap year? Yeah. Can you tell us why you thought that was the best decision for you? Because there's a lot, I have a lot of people thinking about doing that at the moment. Yeah. So, um, so basically what had happened was I just was initially planning on waiting for the full year. I was like, it's such a rushed decision. I don't know much about the country. I didn't know anyone that's that had studied before there either. So I was like, am I rushing into this? But honestly, I just did it on a whim. And Medlink also, they didn't push me, but they did advise me like it will be whatever I'm doing in March was going to be the same that I was going to do in that October. There was not going to be a big difference. And by the time I go, I would have gone in October, I would have finished a whole semester. Right now I'm in semester two and going in March, like obviously it was scary, but once you get in and uni starts, it's honestly your, you just have the best time you go into uni, you do the course that you love, like, and you make so many friends there. It's just such like a welcoming place. Fantastic. Yeah, you seem really, really happy about it. I mean, I think there's a trend that everyone seems too happy for medical and dental students. You should all be more stressed (laughs) than this, I think, but uh, maybe you're good at hiding it. But um, in terms of obviously, we've heard a lot this evening about inside the schools. What is life like in Tbilisi outside of of the classroom? What's the social life like for you? Yep. So 100% coming from London, where it is a big social life, I was a little bit wary of the social life in Georgia. I was like, I just didn't know how similar it was going to be to London. But honestly, from going to my uh, social life from London to Georgia, it is the best thing that I could not fault it. Everything you would expect in a social life, in a nightlife, um, is all hits as nav said before as well it is a uh, a tourist attraction we are in the capital city so we go out all the time it is um obviously really hard to balance both uni and um nightlife as well but you do make time for it and it is honestly the best thing like clubs and restaurants and bars and what whatever you would do in london it's all here as well. It is not as big of a difference as it would seem going from London to Georgia. And yeah. Cool. So would you say it was quite easy for someone who's just coming completely on their own as most of the students are? Is it quite easy for them to get settled in, make friends and go out as if they were at a UK university? 100%. I think I 100% I've spoken to other students as well who are from Medlink who are going into um, the March intake and 100% they had the same concerns and I would agree that it is just so easy to get settled in and half the problems that you think of are just from overthinking and half of them don't even come up like 
Um, I know my biggest concern was making friends and going on nights out and whatever it was just like a normal 18 year old would think of and it's just been everything and more like you go out at night and um, it is a safe country like there is nothing to worry about I know that's one of the main concerns my parents had about the country in general anyways and it is the safest thing we go out at 12 in the night come back whenever it's so safe you could walk down the road at night and like um it's just so safe um club wise as well it's been great just social life in general has been amazing perfect it's great to hear you've had such a positive experience especially coming from somewhere like london which is obviously worldwide known to be such a big city so being used to something like that and then knowing that tbilisi is a good transition is is great for a lot of people listening um in terms of um the the actual sort of clubs and societies and, and things with the university is there anything you've been able to get involved in with that so far yep so they actually offer a lot of exchange programs that i think um we're about to go on in semester two but there's also a lot of medical clubs sports societies um literally just everything um, they also do a lot of debates that um, a lot of students have participated in. Pretty much everything. Um, I know one of my friends are really into running and they do like a, run a running society. And yeah. <laughs> nice. And with your accommodation, I wanted to ask a bit more about this because, again, a lot of people are, are worried about where they're going to live and how they sort it out. But with you, are you staying in the dormitories or did you get your own apartment? So I've personally got my own apartment, but with my friends, it's literally half, half, so half of them are in dorms and then half of them are in their own apartments. Honestly, it is on your preference. Um, for me, um, because I was on a whim, I applied really late. It was such like a last minute thing. But honestly, like my friends have the best time in dorms. Like it's honestly just like a UK dorm standard and honestly if you are scared of making friends I would suggest dorms more than apartments only because everyone is in the same boat as you and everyone is so nice in dorms that they'll 100% look out for you if you have any questions anything like that um literally dorms is the place like they will help you out so if you are worried about making friends any of that I would suggest dorms um or if you did want something that maybe a little bit closer to uni, I would also suggest apartments. Um, for me, it was a big, big jump coming straight out of A-levels, living with my parents and then suddenly being on my own. In yeah, a we want to hear how, how have you found it being in your own apartment? <laughs> but honestly, I came on my own as well. And it was a little bit weird at the start, but honestly you once uni starts you're so focused on uni you just get into that routine um it is just the norm now it did take maybe like a week or two to get used to it 100 percent. whether it was whether it would be in dorms or apartment it would have been the same but honestly i wouldn't change any of it fantastic thank you so much for sharing your experiences with us